What's going on everyone? Combo here and this week's been crazy. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2 dropped with a new trailer and said trailer had faced a fair amount of backlash due to the mess around of the leaks and earlier yesterday Microsoft had their first look Xbox Series X gameplay inside Xbox event which was also met with a fair amount of backlash and I wanted to share my thoughts on said event. Now Kind of, I'm kind of going to be all over the place with this one because I'm not the best at forming coherent talking points, but let's get on to it. To start, if you love the show, that's fine. I'm not going to rain on anyone's parade and tell them, hey, you shouldn't like this show. I've, I've seen some people, you know, it's just how the internet is, man. Some people show excitement for something and someone's got to run in and shut them down. I'm not going to be like that. I mean, I'll share my thoughts, but if you liked it, more power to you. But as for my overall impressions of the event, I didn't walk away from the show with much hype. You know, um, there was about 13 games, give or take, that were shown. And out of the 13, I'd say maybe four or five had my entrance interest. Uh, personally, I was hoping to see footage of Elden Ring in play, but we didn't get that, so disappoint. Uh, Bright Memory looked very good, despite being stated to have been made by one person, so that came as a bit of a surprise. And it actually reminds me of this scenario with Lost Soul Aside, though I think, if I recall, he's now working with Sony, but getting off topic. Um, one of the issues with this event is that leading up to it, Xbox marketing put so much, you know, so many different tweets out and posts out talking about all the capabilities of the console, yet none of the games that were shown specifically highlighted the strengths of the system or the benefits of you know moving over to the next center or just playing this game with new xbox i know there were some in-depth developer talks such as what we saw with the medium uh and the game producer speak about that but with others it was just like here's game and i said here's here's the game nothing else and essentially if a random person were to have watched the video and you know it wasn't specified like which console the games were for the event was for i don't think they would have been like hey is this what i can expect from the next generation of consoles like it, it just didn't really set that image if that makes any sense and yeah i know that usually at the start of a generation there aren't that many groundbreaking titles or games being released that fully utilize the new hardware which is kind of expected but if you're going to emphasize that this is a next-gen hardware show, because there's like, check out your first sights of the Xbox Series X gameplay, you gotta explain how the games are being improved by the new hardware. Even if it's one title that's, you know, specifically highlighted and it speaks about what the hardware does for the game and that can, you know, speak volumes for other titles, you gotta have something like that. Now. It also didn't help that at the bottom of majority of the titles, except for one where it was at the top, there was a little note stating, game and console in development, footage representative of expected Xbox Series X gameplay. Now I understand that this was likely put there to let people know that hey, this isn't the final product and changes may happen before and now, before now and release, you know we don't want to repeat example of uh, the Witcher 3 or Watch Dogs, for example, where there's like, yeah, this is how it's going to look at it. It didn't. But uh, because of this, I've seen some people stating or being rather confused on if the footage shown was on Xbox Series X hardware or rather PC hardware that's close to what one can expect from the Xbox Series X. Hopefully this was actually this Xbox Series X and the extra tidbit was just like, hey, we just went there for, you know, just in case. Another thing as well is that apparently some of these games are supposed to be Series X and PC exclusive, though I'm not sure, you know, if timed or not, but it's rather odd that this wasn't stated in some of the footage that was shown. You know, before the event came out, I was seeing a whole bunch of people make fun of the uh, Xbox, Xbox exclusive, console exclusive, world premiere, you know, the narrator from the previous E3 events, but... We didn't get that, we just got a simple world premiere and nothing extra if it was console exclusive or not. Now, I want to touch on a topic, and this is pretty much the main issue with the show that people had is, there was no gameplay shown, which, again, what many are saying. And, personally, I'm kind of mixed on it. Throughout some of the trailers, you can tell that this was in-game footage of the game being played, albeit with a more cinematic approach with a free form or free roam camera, however you want to pronounce it, where it's not like the traditional perspective if you were actually playing the game, but it was in-engine and in-game, I should say, and it was showing 
characters from moving on. Anyway, but you know, you can see this in games like Scarlet Nexus, as well as Chorus or Chores, wherever the space fighter game is. You can see footage of in game. Now, the issue here is some were expecting a more in depth look than what we were given. Having, you know, such as having a game's UI on screen, a narrator speaking about the game as it's being played, giving details of mechanics, world building, etc. You know, almost as if you're sitting next to someone on the couch who's, you know, ex explaining the game as they're going. Uh, due to this, uh, due to there being a lack of this style of footage, many feel as if we were basically lied to. Now, I personally don't share that sentiment because, you know, as stated before, from my perspective, what we saw for some games was gameplay. I know Jeff Keighley or someone came out and said, in footage, con you know, in game footage isn't the same as gameplay, which I'm like, I mean, it's the game running, you know, I don't know what else you would call it. You know, one of the things with the Hellblade 2 trailer that we saw is people like, this is the CGI, we don't know how to actually look in game. And here we're getting games that, or we're getting footage of games actually running in game, but now it's like this is a gameplay, this isn't what we want. But I digress. Um, yeah. So I will say that I wish more games took the bright memory approach, like Bright Memory uh, Infinite. Like it was just a quick little tad bit of here's the game, here's it running, and here's the game in action. You know, that would have been better than some of the here's a mixture of gameplay, here's a mixture of cutscenes, and figure it out. But, yeah. Lastly, there's the Assassin's Creed Valhalla section. And they really dropped the ball on this one. It's safe to say that this was the game many were expecting or anticipating the most after the initial reveal trailer we had earlier last week, I believe. And if any game could have used a more detailed approach discussing the features of the Xbox Series X, Assassin's Creed is the main one. You know, it, it would have... It would have been the best way if it's going to be open world. Hey, this is how you know SSV is really cutting down on fast travel, and here's how the game looks on this high area up top with ray tracing. They could have done so much. Um, honestly, the event altogether was odd. Like, I didn't hate it, but you know, and some games were interesting, some of them looked interesting to me. But the show definitely should have been longer and gave more details on the games being shown. Would I say the show was a flop? I'd say yes for those who are expecting a deep dive on how the hardware would bolster the upcoming games, you know. I mean, yeah, we, we can expect 60 FPS. We know what 60 FPS looks like. Like, come on. And 4K, etc. Like, we got that now. But having a, a demo showing how quick these low times were or how ray tracing changes the game or the look of the game would have been very interesting to see heck they could have had like a side by side hey some of these games are cross gen this is how it's gonna look on xbox one and here's the improvements you'll see on xbox series x we didn't get that so all overall after seeing the after seeing the show i feel as if it really wasn't needed and it should have been part of a bigger event um, I know with what's going on currently with the COVID, I probably shouldn't say that, and you know, you can't, I'm sure there's some issues of getting everything together, so take that as you will. Um, personally, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Xbox Game Studios, uh, or at least the studios under that umbrella are going to do, so like the first party, like show me the first party at this point, you know, I really wasn't feeling the show, like I really wasn't. But that's just me. Again, it wasn't, I didn't hate it, but at the same time, I didn't walk away like excited from anything. So, yeah. But I'll end the, I'll end the video here. I was thinking about discussing specific games in the show and give my thoughts on them, but that would have just made the video much longer. So, yeah, I'll just cut it here. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Drop a like or dislike however you're feeling about the video and uh, let me know what your thoughts of the show were as well. Ooh, stumbling there. And uh, thanks for listening and take care. Have fun and yeah.